Hello everyone. Welcome back to Lynn's Homestead. Today's video, it's about Mary's tractor. It's time for its first service. Now, she didn't really use it too much um, the first season because it was like at the end of the season. So, yeah, this thing is two years old. This is an actual Craftsman T100. 36 inch deck, 11 and a half horsepower Briggs. It's got the uh, manual transmission kind of. Um, but it's always had a problem since the day I picked it up for. Now, this thing was originally, customer brought it back to Lowe's, sent out for repair. So the deck's making a, deck just stopped. The engine won't stay running. Took it out and needed a new deck. Well, when they ordered the deck, it came the wrong color, so they condemned the thing. At the time, this was an $1,100 riding lawnmower. Now, they're $2,100 for this thing. So, they asked me, says, well, we got to do something with it. Deck is, I go, well, maybe they just hit something. He goes, no, they said the deck squashed. I go, well, all right. Uh, he goes, you want it? I go, how much? Because I told him, Mary's looking for one. 100 bucks. I asked her, you want to spend $100 on a riding lawnmower? She says, yeah. So I bought it. Thing was the shiniest, most beautiful red thing you've ever seen. She wanted blue. So I'm going to start this thing up. Thing runs. The engine runs fine. It mows. I got it to mow really good. It's what the deck does. So watch. Let me get my... I don't have a key with me. I'm using a little screwdriver. noise it deafens you you know almost need to wear earplugs and earmuffs with the music on loud and you still hear this thing other than that like I say so there's something in the deck I told her I need to I when I had to change color, I had to take the deck off, which is a pain in the ass. Uh, it's not like other ones, you just pop the pins and it comes off. Oh no, this thing's much more than involved than that. But she wanted me to paint it blue and I had to disassemble everything. I had to take the fender off, I had to take the footboards off, I had to take the hood off, I had to take it apart, I had to take the deck off, I had to disassemble the deck, I had to straighten the deck. The deck is freaking warped. So, I told her, I'm going to try to fix it up. Now, when I painted it, it was cold out, so the paint came out not so good. Uh, this was uh, Patriot Blue. It's a fusion paint from Lowe's. I bought Ford Blue. should be a glossier color. So, let me get this hood off and uh, so we can look under the hood. All right, I know I got to change the oil. It does not have a filter. It's a single cylinder, 11 horsepower, 11 and a half horsepower brakes. Has overhead valves. I mean, in a sense, it's really, the engine mechanically, it's not that bad. Even the oil is not really that dirty. But 
I've never changed oil in this thing. It does not have a filter on it. So the number one thing I really need to do is get this thing pressure washed. So I'll be back. I'm going to get my uh, Simpson 4000 PSI pressure washer set up. And we're going to gently go over because that thing will take the stickers and everything right off of this thing. So let me get set up and we'll get this thing clean. Okay. Now, a rental place told me the easiest way to start this Simpson, which is true, yes, but I ran water through the pump first with the nozzle off, so there's water in it. I went out and burned that $400 pump that I had to pay for. So let's get this thing started, turn the water on, and get this thing cleaned up. Adjustment in it, but uh, tell you what, it's clean now. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a strap or a rope, and I'm gonna lasso the thing, and I'm gonna raise it up so I can clean the deck. All right, I got it up in the air, I'm not gonna get under it, heaven forbid anything ever happens. I'm going to start this pressure washer up the same way. Too soon.
There we go. Get all the sludge off of it. So we're going to let this thing kind of sit and drip dry a while. So guys, got it clean. Looks a lot better. Um, there'll be videos on how to service this thing in the future. But this is all I wanted to do in this video. Uh, she wants a side chute. I'm going to attempt to make one. Because buying one is a little hard to do. If you ever buy one of these things from, um, from Lowe's, go with the 42 inch. Don't waste your time on this little deck. Because it is not a fun thing to do. So, anyways. Hope you watched the video to the end. And I'll see you here next time on Lynn's Homestead. Where, in time, I'm going to introduce you to the beast. That's right. The bucketeer's dead, but the beast lives. See you next time.